service of our soldiers has been indispensable in not just attaining freedom, but also in keeping security and peace in our country. For this episode, we honor their bravery and sacrifices by featuring a newly recruited Philippine Navy Reservist. Sino kaya to? Tara, samahan niyo kami. Hello there! Welcome to Real Tribe! Marianne Dumlao is both an entrepreneur and an educator. Currently, she is taking up her PhD in Philippine Women University. Recently, she topped her class in the basic citizen military course training this year under the Philippine Navy Reserve. Pinuntan namin siya sa Naval Reserve Center, NCR, Chacha Tagig City, Lalong makilala. Okay, ini tayo ngayon sa NRSN sa Tagig City para intervene si Mary Ann Dumlao. Tara! Hey guys, we have here Mary Ann Dumlao, a businesswoman, a head registrar in a seafaring school, a dean also, and a Philippine Navy Reservist. How are um, I'm good. Hi everybody. Mabuhay. I'm... And welcome aboard, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Mary Ann Dumlao, DKC Mary Ann Dumlao. Um, I am an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm head registrar as you've mentioned at uh, exact training center and the dean of tourism management at exact colleges of asia in araya oh, nice. so yeah so tell us more about yourself let's focus more on your philippine navy journey yeah my philippine navy journey very memorable actually because um siguro joining in the philippine navy um is more on yung drive ko or passion ko to help others. Mm -hmm. So, yun siguro. Kung bakit ako nandito ngayon. Although, um, before I planned to join the Coast Guard group, just that, parang nandun na kasi lahat sila. Mm -hmm. So, to make a difference, nag-Pilipinig ako. Okay. So, yun. And then, basta naman, uh, meron akong nabasa sa Facebook. Actually, Kaya ako nag-interested ako kasi nabasa ko yung story mo sa Facebook. Ang gano'n, uy, ano din kwento to. Ready, ready, you know, is feature ko sa show at saka sa Jario. So, Thank you. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Actually, ano, yeah. Kwento mo yung start, yung, yung journey. Yeah, thank you for, for, actually, I'm thankful for, um, uh, Manares. Manares, Manares for, uh, featuring my article. Actually, I've never thought na, na mapopost pala doon. And thank you, sir, for, um, for yo nagustuhan mo siya. <laughs> oh, <no>. It's <laughs> Pero, very interesting actually. Yeah, yung anything and everything na nakasulat naman kasi dun, sir is actually like like I've mentioned very memorable sa akin. Mm -hmm. It's my first time actually to to join uh, 
like yung training ng BCM, uh, BCMC yes. kasi di ba that is the prerequisite uh, training for you to be able to to get in into the uh, mili uh, navy yes. uh, uh, navy reserve mm -hmm. yan so of course at yun nga nakakatakot kasi siya di ba who would kasi woman na ako yes. mm -hmm. di ba woman na ako and hindi syempre biro. hindi biro naman na na sumala sa mga ganyan and you never know what's in there ba di ba mm -hmm. and ano ba yung mangyayari sa akin what's yeah. good about uh, joining di ba mm -hmm. pero wala parang yun nga like i've mentioned passion ko kasi talagang tumulong Tumul nakikita ko kasi na they are they are so active in helping in sa community mm -hmm. uh, sa mga disasters and everything so lagi silang nandoon mm -hmm. so i feel na gusto kong mapabilang it's not because of whatever mas ang gusto ko lang is to help mm -hmm. parang ganoon so yun yung yun yung passion ko na, na kaya ko kaya ko gustong nandito ngayon mm -hmm. and very thankful ako kasi ay dati kasi ang dami kong iniisip ang dami kong hesitations like kaya ko ba? Diba? Nambasa mo naman yun. Yes. Kaya ko ba? And qualified ba ako? Eh, feeling, pa, feeling ko pa naman, di ba? Ang dami pa lang ba ako? Di ba? Mm. Tapos babae pa ako. Ano bang mabibigay ko? Ano bang may tulong ko? Something like that. But of course, um, like I've mentioned, na wala naman kasi akong challenge na sinusubukan na hindi ko uh, tinatapos. Di ba? Sabi ko, I've never quit. In everything I do, pag sinimulan ko siya, pinatapos ko siya. Parang ano, yung nafe-feel at home ka, whenever you go there to to comply the to submit and comply the requirements. Kasi parang, ang babayit naman ng mga taong dito. <laughs> thankful din ako sa NRC and NCR especially si si Captain uh, Chodoro Bolaño the commander mm -hmm. of the NRC and NCR kasi napakabait niya I thought kasi nung first visit ko masungit di ba pag mga sundalo masungit yeah. yung mga ganon pero hindi napakabait niya so ayun and then si next one is si Lieutenant Commander uh, Retaga si, mm -hmm. si Deputy same sa NRC and NCR din. Very accommodating siya. And lahat ng nandoon sa NRC and NCR na mga staff, mga unit staff, napakabait nila. So yun, parang mas lalo akong nag-push through. Mm -hmm. yun. And then aside from that, aside from that, nung after my BCMC, yun, di ba nga na-mention ka dun sa article ko. Ang hirap. <laughs> Hindi naman kasi talagang mag madali na basta ka lang nag-join yes. and then matapos, ganun-ganun na. It's, it, yung, yung sinasabi nilang memorable, yeah, as in memorable ano, siya part talaga. Anong memorable? Ang lahat ng lahat doon? Lahat! <laughs> Alam mo yung talagang pinaparanas nila sa'yo, yung buhay sundalo. Mm -hmm. Yan. Survival mode. Survival mode. What will you do kung um, andun ka sa war? Sabihin ka ng ang sitwasyon. Kung, in, kung nangyari oh, sa'yo. Yeah. Okay. Ganun yung mga yung pinaparealize mga nila sa inyo. Yeah. Parang nire-ready ka talaga nila. Para sa gera. Yeah. Parang ganun. At saka maranasan mo yung buhay ng sundado. Deserve nila yung respect. Mm -hmm. Deserve honor. nila yung honor. Kasi yung pinagdadaanan nila hindi yun siya basta-basta. Like, they have a lot of sacrifices. Between life and death. Yeah. Yung life and death, family, yung personal na needs, personal likes, lahat yung sinacrifice nila for, for the love of the country. They deserve to have that, ano, that respect talaga. Saludo. Yeah. Salute. Hi, salute. Salute talaga siya. Yung, yung becoming a soldier, they deserve a salute. And you deserve a respect. And uh, you're driving a uh, Toyota Vios. So yeah. tell us why a Toyota Vios.
Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Toyota Vios kasi um, in terms of yung mga um, accessories and yung mga piyesa and everything um, it's easily within the, um, your reach like madali kang bumili so replacement and everything madali kang bumili so wala siyang difficulty sa well, in terms of that and then convenient kasi um, kahit kumaga convenient siya kasi kahit like for example even my cousins if I want uh, I ask them na uh, i-drive siya alam nila yung yung ano kasi same same brand yung mga ginagamit ko yeah. something like that yeah, so you really love Toyota? Really um, yung convenient siguro and yun nga like yung mga Availability. Availability uh, of parts. Service. Yeah. Yun. Basta always available. Something like that. Parang ako kasi yun eh. Always available. Always available. <laughs> o oh, diba? Parang ako kasi yun eh. Always available. Always available. <laughs> o oh, diba? Parang actually kinakabit ko na yung personality ko dito sa sasakyan. <laughs> always available. Diba pag nakita mo siya para siyang lalaki. Yes. Uh, diba? Uh, outside. But when you go inside, babae siya. Jade. I, I, I actually pinangalan ko siyang Jade. Jade. Okay. Uh, kasi it's because of the color. Mm -hmm. You see Jade at night, grayish siya. Okay. Nalaki na lahat. Yeah, grayish siya. <laughs> but when you saw, when you saw it uh, early morning or morning, makikita mo green pala siya. Green siya. Yeah. So, tsaka pagpasok mo, di ba babae siya? Bye. Uh, amoy mo agad. Ay, babae Ay, babae. Diba? Yun yun. Okay, so, Marian, uh, sa lahat ng ginagawa mo sa Philippine Navy, sa iyong negosyo, sa iyong pagtuturo, what basically drives you? To, to help other people. The reason why of having yung multitask na mga jobs, mm -hmm. yung marami kang work, marami kang ginagawa, is that for you to be able to, to get more and to do more. Mm -hmm. Kasi diba, pag the more you have, um, the more chances of you na makatulong ka sa ibang tao. Yes. Yun kasi talaga yun. Yun yung pinaka-passion ko. Uh, and I feel na that is my purpose. We are more on the operation. So, I'm thankful to Commander Rosas kasi um, binigyan niya ako ng pagkakataon na, na makasama sa group niya and sa group na yun, especially sa operation. And then si, si Maa Kanyero kasi napakabait niya as in yung binagay ka niya si Sir Ensign Castaño yun din, napakabait. And si Sir Romero, si Ensign Romero, siya yung pinaka-OIC namin sa operation. So, lahat sila actually, ang babait. Ang mga activities namin, lagi akong nag enjoy There are times na meron kaming bloodletting mm -hmm. na eh, nag-aalala sa akin si si, si, si Maa Kanyero kasi sabi niya, kakadonate mo lang ng blood. <laughs> Bakit magdodonate <laughs> ka na naman? <laughs> si Maa, gusto ko talaga. Napaka, napaka generous mo naman. <laughs> Oo, sabi ko, si Maa, gusto ko talaga. Ay, hindi nga siya pwede. <laughs> Bakit yung iba? Alam mo yung, alam mo yung ganun ako ka, ganun ko ka gustong tumulong na kahit mawalan na ako ng dugo. <laughs> Sige lang, ganun.